Welcome to today's meeting. I'm Mike White with Vision 33. And what we're going to take a look at today is William IT's uh, latest release of the B1 usability package and the uh, addition of the B1 dashboards. Really a nice feature that the uh, William IT team has made available to SAP Business One. So in order to get this to work, well, let me back up a bit. Uh, this is for Microsoft SQL deployments. Now you can load the latest BOEM release on HANA deployments, but in the case of HANA, you're using uh, pervasive analytics. And so with Microsoft SQL deployments, this B1 dashboards uh, literally gives you HANA type analytics and KPIs for the Microsoft SQL deployments of SAP Business One. So it's uh, really a, uh, a neat solution. Uh, the install is, is very, very easy. It's your basic upgrade to SAP Business One. So you would go through the normal upgrade process for the B1 usability package. And to turn on the B1 dashboards, it's a simple checkbox. And this will enable the B1 dashboard functionality. The second step you need to do is then tag which users will have access to the B1 dashboards. Um, this also works at the user group level as well. There's uh, one other step that's important, and that is you do need to disable your, uh, you know, my cockpit. So this replaces SAP Business One's uh, cockpit mode, and it really puts SAP back into its uh, it, its core uh, its core menu structure, where you've got your modules, drag and relate, and my menu. Um, I kind of like this because it, SAP runs extremely fast when you have the cockpits disabled. And um, B1 usability package upgrade does a great job of uh, providing new concept to the whole uh, cockpits. And so I have it loaded. And what we see across the top are a list of my cockpits. So I have a sales cockpit, a purchasing cockpit, a finance cockpit, service, production, inventory, opportunities. Um, these are all cockpits that come with the B1 usability, B1 dashboards. And so when you enable your dashboards, you get all of these already set up for you uh, out of the box. And then you can tailor them and, uh, and create your own, your own cockpits and your own dashboards and widgets. So what we're going to do, just to give you an idea 